Hello friends and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified of new uploads. This is another video in the series on Notepad++ tips and tricks. And in this video, we'll be learning how Notepad++ can be used to handle XML files. As we know, XML is a text file, an ASCII file, and for that reason, it can be opened using a text editor. Let's look at an example. Okay. Uh, so we have here uh, a sample XML file. And then I'll open this using uh, Notepad, Notepad, the default text editor of Windows. Okay, so I will right click on this. Even though knowing it's an XML file, as you can see, I'll right click on that and then click on edit. Edit in Notepad. You don't see it, but the in the context menu it says edit Notepad in Notepad. Okay, so it will open that file in Notepad, not Notepad plus plus. This is the default text editor of Windows OS. So you can see that it's plain, it's text, it's ASCII. It is of one color, monochrome, and it is uh, devoid of any formatting other than what is already there as per the text itself. There is no indent. There are no indents at all, okay? So this is the behavior when we open a file using Notepad, okay? Okay. So XML is a text file, yes, but it can also be handled by Notepad++, which is the probably the most, or if not one of the most, text editors in the world right now, okay? So if we will open an XML file on Notepad++, this is how it will look. So it will render it in such a way that the keywords and the values will be uh, following some kind of a color scheme, if you will, that uh, makes it obvious to you visually which ones are the keywords and which ones are the values in one at a glance, okay? So it's very readable. So that is Notepad++ being used to look at an XML file. But if we will scroll through the file, you will notice that even though we have the color scheme, uh, color coding, if you want to call it that, but uh, you'll notice that there is no indentation. There are no indents. If you look at the left side here, there are no indents that you would have seen in some other instances and in some other files in the past. If you have had that experience, um, some XML files do have indent in, and it makes it more readable in knowing the hierarchy, which one is at the high level, which one's at the low level, which one is a child of which. So um, here in Notepad++, plus plus, we can do that. And But before we get into that, let me just show you. If I'll copy all this content, as you know, this is an XML file, and then I will copy everything and paste it to a new instance of uh, Notepad++, plus plus, you will see that it is only being rendered in black. It is plain. It it doesn't have the color scheme of this, you know. If you see here, this is mono. Now, now it is. That's the behavior of not plus plus. But if I open a new one, okay, and then I paste, then you can see it's black. And if you want, if maybe you're working on a file which you don't necessarily want to save, it's just a temporary file that you're working on while you're. Uh, uh, polishing something, you are editing something, fixing something in the XML file, but don't necessarily, you have no plans of saving the file, then you can still leverage on the features of Notepad++, which are centered on XML files. So if you want to have this color code as the one before, you can go to language menu here, and then you look for XML, which is here. Okay, we click on that. Then you can see that immediately it renders the file, although it's not yet saved, it renders the contents in XML uh, following the color scheme that you've seen before for the reserved words, for the values, etc. Okay, that's nice, isn't it? So even before saving the file, you can already work on as if it's a real XML file. Okay, so I'll close this. Okay, so back to this one. Now we have an XML file. But uh, like I said, it has the color scheme, it has the color coding in there. 
but it doesn't have the indents that you want to have. Okay, so that will be also easy in Notepad++. The way to do that is to go to your plugins menu, go to the menu here, click on plugins, and then in my case, the plugin for XML is already installed, has already been installed. So I can just go after clicking on plugins, plugins, I'll go to plugins admin, click on that, and then, uh, nope, nope, plugins, and then XML tools is already here, okay? Because in my case, it's already been installed. So plugins, and then XML tools, and then I can click on Pretty print, pretty print. Okay, click on this. And it gives you the indent that you were looking for, right? So the color is still there. And then in addition to that, it added those indents. Now, if you want to go deeper in terms of indentation, in terms of indenting, then maybe you wanted to indent also the attributes or the properties. So what you can do is I'll undo this. Get a good look if you want to. You can take a screenshot and then you can rewind this video and take a screenshot just for comparison. And then we, we I will just undo it. And then if you want to do further indent, which is targeting also the attributes, the attributes or the properties, then you can go to this. You can click again on plugins menu and then you can go to plugins admin. No, no, sorry. Plugins and then XML tools. And then instead of pretty print, you go... So the next menu item, they're called pretty print indent attributes. Okay, click on that. And you can see, although you will not see the difference very obviously unless you captured the previous one or if you have very good memory. So you can notice here that the attributes, such as the class ID, and then if you scroll down, this here, OID, object ID, uh, type, etc. They are indented in relation to this value name blah, blah, blah. okay so this is the the use of that that's why when you go to these plugins and in your xml tools you have these two options here one is pretty print which is the first one we did which did a pretty decent indent on the file and then the other one which further indents the attributes in the xml file okay but nevertheless it already gives you what you need which is showing you the hierarchy of the fields of the tags inside the XML file, okay? And again, if, uh, like I told you, if you wanted to work on an intermediary on a temporary file and you just wanna copy uh, the contents of the file, so I'm doing that for you to see. You can still paste it there. And if you wanna get that color scheme of XML, you can go to language menu in the XML, okay? And then if you want the indent, I believe it will still work. Plugins, XML tools, this, right? Okay, so in my case, I already installed the XML tools. That's why you see it under plugins. In your case, if you still don't see XML tools in your Notepad++, you can go to the plugins menu and then you go to plugins admin and then you will type XML tools here. It's not case sensitive. And then... In in my case, it's already installed. That's why I don't I don't see it. You see, there are tabs at the top of the plugins. I mean, available updates installed. In my case, it's already installed, so it is here. XML tools. It is under installed because I've already installed it. In your case, it will not be under installed tab. It will be under available tab. So when you type XML tools here, even before you click on the next, it will already show you a short list of whatever plugins are in there, which contain the words XML tools. And once you see that, you can just click on install button, which right now is grayed out in my view, but in your view, if uh, you have, you still don't have the XML tools. Okay, I'll do it again. Plugins, plugins admin, and then you go to available um, tab, in case you don't see XML tools, and you type your XML tools in the search field, and then when you click on install, the grayed out button on the right, then it will install. Wait a while, and then it may prompt you for some confirmation messages like, are you really sure you want to do this? Then it's really up to you. You can say yes. Okay. And then once that's installed, it's a one-time thing you'll do. The next time you see, you open your Notepad++. And then when you go to your plugins, you can already see XML tools under that. So plugins, XML tool, tools become available, and then you can go and explore. 
Okay, so this is just a short video um, showing you, just get, giving you a look-see into what you can do and how Notepad++ can help you with handling XML files. Nevertheless, there are many um, XML tools that you can you can uh, explore in your own free time. Thank you. Okay, so thank you for watching and listening. If you haven't subscribed, yet, please click subscribe and click the bell. If you have, um, I'll be seeing you in the next video.